Hi, everyone. Um, when I was a child, I often dreamed of becoming a change maker. Initially, my heart was on social work, but life reshapes my path. My name is Michael Ip. I'm from Hong Kong, and I've just completed my Master of Arts in Environment and Management. And here is my story of how I transform from a social worker to an advocate of food literacy and land preservation. In Hong Kong, in the past 10 years, there's a series of youth-led movement has been calling for social change in democracy and sustainability. I was deeply inspired and want to do something, but I wonder how I can translate these values into tangible action. And a golden opportunity occurred in 2016. With the support from a district councillor, I start a radish festival in my neighborhood. The revenge was a success, largely because an 80-year-old farmer donate the vital soil we needed. Soon afterwards, this old farmer faced a crisis. He was standing on the road, holding a sign, trying in desperation to sell his vegetable. He lost the middle person to transport the produce to the wholesale market, and he was on the verge of losing all his crops. Our community rallied, spreading his plight to the social media and caught the attention of the local newspaper. Hundreds of people visited the farm and bought the lettuce. Within a few days, the farmer sold out all the crops, nearly 1,000 kilograms. A happy ending, right? Not exactly. This one harvest was a success. But what about the next? What about the future? So when I spoke with the farmer, his response surprised me. He requested me to promote the on-site direct sale on social media. Imagine an 80-year-old man with traditional background starting a digital business. But his reasoning was profound. It's about dignity and justice. The middleman undervalued his effort offering him a price bordered on exploitation, whereas direct sell allowed him to connect with the customers who appreciate the value of his hard work. And retirement was not an option because farming is his lifeblood, his purpose, and his contribution to the community. And his story is not a one man's plight, but a snapshot of a broader social problem. Since 2010, a visionary group of young activists spearhead farmland for farming movement. They brought to the public attention a very alarming trend. Our valuable farmlands was so off for development. And the vegetable production for the past decades was reduced from 30% to less than 2% of the whole market. It is a significant loss of produce and farmland. And it is also an erosion of knowledge of the generation of farming wisdom. Here, 
I stood with an opportunity to help safeguard a farmland in my community. So what should I do? I assure the old farmer, you have my support. And from that very day, I start an unexpected journey in my life. I launched an online campaign and create a Facebook page called Cam Pork Farm. I share the story to over 100 Facebook groups, those for parents, vegetarians, neighbors, and even hikers and cyclists. I don't have any experience in digital marketing, and I bank on the power of the narrative, a story about an old farmer struggling to preserve his farming practice. And this is not just about selling vegetables, it's about an educational experience of food literacy, a chance for people to learn about where their food comes from and to reconnect with the land using their own hand in harvest. And the result was astounding. Within two weeks, we sold another thousand kilograms of lettuce. And this campaign sparked a movement Today, we have 8,000 followers in our Facebook page, 1,000 followers in our Instagram, and we sell 4,000 kilograms of lettuce every year. And the followers are so passionate that some of them even take the public transportation for four hours to and from the farm to buy just two kilograms of lettuce. And the farm becomes a hub of community for all walks of life. Our mission extends beyond selling vegetables. We leverage the farm to be a conduit of social good and community engagement. We recruit volunteers to harvest and deliver the produce to low-income families and food banks. And the impact is not limited to the preservation of land. Witnessing the huge support from Hong Kong people, the old farmer changed his way of farming. Previously, depending on chemical fertilizer, now he transitioned to a costly organic method, prioritizing a more healthy and sustainable farming practice. I'm thankful to the calling of the young activists and the unwavering support from Hong Kong people. In fact, in every social movement of democracy and sustainability, they never hesitate to stand up for what they believe. And most of all, I'm thankful to the old farmer, Mr. Chow and his family for the trust and opportunity for me to be a change maker, leading me to the study of sustainability here in Royal Rose University. For aspiring change makers, here is what I learned. First, be patient and authentic to build long lasting and trusting relationship with your partners. Second, find your passion. Follow your passion and your purpose and let them guide your effort. Last but not the least, keep an open mind to new ideas, which might be the seeds of the next revolution. Thank you very much. <laughs>